Glaucoma surgery has seen significant innovations over the past two decades in the form of modifications to penetrating, non-penetrating, and minimally invasive glaucoma surgery, or MIGS. Trabeculectomy has stood the test of time, remaining the gold standard for over half a century. As a result of steep learning curves and higher costs, newer techniques are often not feasible in the developing world. Moreover, the long-term success of these procedures has not been fully demonstrated. A recent innovation has changed the way that glaucoma surgery can be performed in a multitude of settings. The procedure is known as gonioscopy-assisted transluminal trabeculotomy, or GAT. Developed at the Glaucoma Associates of Texas in Dallas, it is a minimally invasive surgical treatment for the management of open-angle glaucoma. GAT is normally performed using an eye track microcatheter, which has a lighted probe that allows for optimal visualization of the advancing catheter in the Schlem's canal. The alternative method, innovated for its low cost, is known as the suture GAT, which is done using a less expensive 5-0 proline suture. The pioneers of this procedure, Dr. Grover and Dr. Fellman, acknowledge the immense public health benefit that GAT can have, particularly in the developing world. The exciting thing about this, this technology and the technique that we've developed is that we think we can do it in a very cost-effective, uh, inexpensive, safe way to, to treat people with minimal follow-up, and that doesn't put the patient at risk for a long-term long risk for infection, is not uh, wrought with other complications like tube erosions and double vision and other things that we, we really don't like to see. And um, we think it actually has a really good chance of success. And we've seen, we've seen that over the past three to four years. So this, in my mind, is, is one of the most exciting things and one of the most exciting technological developments in glaucoma for our patients here in the U.S., but more importantly, uh, for overseas. The instruments used in the GAT procedure are low temperature cautery, 5-0 proline suture, 25 gauge MVR blade, Helon GV, MST forceps, Swan Jacob gonia prism, and McPherson's forceps. Our team, assisted by Dr. Grover, performed a few GAT procedures using the 5-0 proline suture. The first step of this surgery is to carefully blunt the tip of the 5-0 proline suture using low temperature cautery. After making paracentesis, Helon GV is injected into the anterior chamber. The patient's head is then tilted away from the surgeon and the microscope is tilted towards the surgeon. This facilitates better visualization of angle structures when seen under the Swan Jacob gonia prism. The blunted tip of 5-0 proline is introduced from the paracentesis inside the anterior chamber. The trabecular meshwork is identified and using a 25 gauge MVR blade, an incision is made to open the Schlem's canal. Under gonioscopic visualization, 5-0 proline is threaded in the Schlem's canal using MST forceps. With gentle strokes, the proline is pushed inside the Schlem's canal until the tip appears 270 to 360 degrees from the starting position. The tip of the proline is again caught by the forceps and the gonia prism is removed. From the paracentesis, the suture is pulled outside of the eye, tearing away the inner wall of Schlem's canal. Finally, Viscoelastic is washed out of the eye using bimanual irrigation aspiration. The anterior chamber is formed with saline and the blanching of limbal vessels is used to confirm the surgery success. There are a number of advantages to the GAP procedure. First, it does not require incisions in the conjunctiva or the sclera, preserving these tissues if future surgery is needed. While MIGS can be extremely expensive, suture GAT is done at a fraction of the cost. Additionally, GAT allows for reduced follow-up requirements, reduces the long-term risk of infection, and has a lower side effect profile than most invasive procedures. Although the GAT procedure is an advancement in the field of glaucoma surgery, 
It does not come without some limitations. Learning this technique requires the surgeon to have absolute mastery of intraoperative gonioscopy, ambidexterity, and understanding of angle structures. Currently, our suture GAT patients are at the six-month post-operative time point with well-controlled intraocular pressures. None of the eyes have required any anti-glaucoma medication. To conclude, we feel that with practice and perseverance, GAT can emerge as a promising treatment for primary open-angle glaucoma in the developing world.